welcome back everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Sands of Selzar. This will be part 17 of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we were here in the Ifrit uh, area, we like went through the portal, and well, we just need to not be caught by patrols apparently, like that one I guess, that we just kind of definitely got caught by, but... We'll just go here. Wow, they're really quick. <clears throat> Wait, do we just like not fight them or do we actually have to do something not to be caught? Because like I can just do this. Uh, what's that? What is this? Strange well. An Ifrit well. It is said that the Ifrit draw their power from these wells. Malak said that the substance in the well can prevent the Ifrit from detecting us, at least for a while. Put some on yourself, it might save us some trouble. <clears throat> An Ifrit well prints you from being detected for four hours. Oh, interesting. Don't know how useful that actually is. Is it here? Exile. Ah, fair enough. I mean, they don't seem to really target me anyway. <clears throat> I'm just kind of like zipping through the middle of them all. As you approach, you are swallowed up by a wave of heat. Black miasma like swarms of ghosts engulf everything around you. It is so hot it is difficult to breathe. <laughs> okay, the music picks up as well. You see an enormous burning red sigil raging with fire before you. Innumerable ifrit gather around the sigil, kneeling and worshipping it. You lie hidden in wait with a later not far away. The ground is covered by Sanguinia, a sign of Ifrit presence. <clears throat> Suddenly, the Ifrit turn towards your position as one. Did you really think us blind and deaf? We do not use your ma strange magics in lieu of our eyes and ears, but we have developed great powers of perception in order to survive in the darkness. Our perception is our greatest defense. You talk too much. They don't understand it anyway. Enough. Eliminate the intruders. Alright. Summon, summon some goobers. Oh wow, okay. Well... Feels like I'm quite well leveled for this. Uh, feels like I'm really well leveled for this. I don't know why I'm concerned about these guys. They are really not much of a threat. Boom. Piece of cake. Ifrit surrounds you. <clears throat> a brief stalemate, then another Ifrit emerges from the red and black building. He looks different from the others. The other Ifrit falls silent as he approaches. They part to make a path for him, keeping their heads bowed as he passes by. You must be the Ifrit Void Master whom a human once depicted. I did not think I would see you again, River Goddess. I am not her, but I am her descendant. Human speech? He is no ordinary Ifrit. He has been around for a long time. 1,637 years, to be precise. My people gave everything to maintain my slumber, allowing me to remain who I was for a thousand years. The price they paid was to become who they are now. Witness the sanguinea beneath your feet, the sign of decline. I'm sorry about what happened before. Maybe my apology doesn't mean anything to you, but I've come to negotiate. Yes. Did you hear a word of destruction? What? The ground begins to tremble. Your human wizards are casting a spell, trying to destroy everything within this barrier. Impossible. I told them to keep watch, not destroy the barrier, much less harm. Listen carefully. The incantation of obliteration. A spell so powerful that it requires a caster to give their own life. I can't believe someone in the communion would betray us. Enough. He was right. Humans are creatures of deceit. 
<clears throat> oh, I don't know what's going on with me today. The Ifrit Void Master crosses his hands before him, and two puffs of blood mist emerge from the Ifrit Void Master's palms. They rise into the sky entwined, joining to become a massive web in the shape of a bat's wings. The web falls upon you. You feel the world go dark and hear cacophony in your mind, as though thousands of voices are speaking at the same time. You lose consciousness after what seemed like an eternity of chaos. You feel short of breath and you head, your head feels like it's about to split apart. You find yourself in a strange place with no sign of a later. Ooh, what, like the void? Sanguinea. Are there a freak here? You see a light in this dark and shattered realm. You follow the light. You see an Ifrit sitting by a bonfire. You hesitate, but sense that you should go forth. Are you... human? There is something different about you. You could distinguish the Ifrit human speech with some difficulty. It does not seem to be hostile. I guess. Who are you? It is good form to say your name and where you came from before asking any questions. You introduce yourself. Ah, that world. You wanted to know what place this is. Sit down, human. I need to find someone. A girl. You will find her once you understand. This is most mysterious. After some thought, you decide to trust him. For now. I look different from the Ifrit out there, do I not? Uh, how do you know there are other Ifrit out there? I know, of course, that I would become like them if I passed through the door. But I decided to stay. This is not the home of the Ifrit, but it is my home. I was born and grew up here. I bore witness to war and destruction. What is the door? The Ifrit sighs and adds a piece of wood to the fire. It all began with an obsidian flame. Obsidian flame. I seem to recall seeing something like that in the goddess's mirage. Yes, the obsidian flame. I do not know its name or what its nature is, only that its power is godlike. The strange Ifrit tells you the story of the obsidian flame. It is an ancient being that feeds on pain and hatred. Betrayal and hatred are its favourite food. Legends say it was born from the abyss. At first it was weak and insignificant, but as calamity and pain spread it began to grow. But as much as the obsidian flame fed, it could not leave the abyss. It began to share its power with others who became the obsidian flame's emissaries, bringing strife to the world. After many wars, the obsidian flame finally found the power to consume the world. The world collapsed, but the obsidian flame was still not strong enough to leave its home, or leave its home realm, and so the obsidian flame found a new target. That was the realm of the humans, and the ancestral home of the Ifrit. Obsidian flame. Where is it now? If the, world, if the world outside has not collapsed yet, then it is still in the abyss, the darkness beneath us. This bottomless black valley used to be a river. Like reflection on water, it reflects the great river of the other world. The door lies between the abyss and the bottom of the river. It could not leave this place, try it as it has. This is its home, and its prison. It is time. Go. Where to? There is a strange presence at the door. She must be there. Can I actually go around? No. Hmm. She looks lost, confused. Awake her. <clears throat> Oof. <clears throat> God. What happened? Where is... Leda's knees buckle and almost falls to the ground. You catch her just in time. Did you see it? Who are you? A humble and lonely freak, as you can see. Leda looks towards you. You nod. If you were inside the door, then you must have seen it. It can transform into any shape. An Ifrit, a monster, a human, or an obsidian flame. I... I saw no one. I felt I was in a dream, and my mind was a haze. I only remember that I seemed to be pulling at something, fighting over it with someone. Really? Curious. The obsidian flame you speak of, what is it? Why do I feel that I've seen it before? You tell her later the story. The door between worlds can only be opened with the obsidian flame's powers. Were you not summoned by it? We were brought here by the Ifrit Void Master. He must have sent us here to be trapped. He must have sent us here to be trapped here, not to meet anybody. 
I understand. Go back. I know how to leave this place. Why did you help us? Because I do not wish to see another world destroyed. Certainly not the ancestral home of the Ifrit. Speak to the Void Master, Princess Elida. I believe you will find a way for the Ifrit and humans to coexist in peace. How did you know who I was? This scimitar of yours. It tells stories. Hmm. Do not worry about who I am. I seek nothing but peace. A dream that can no longer be fulfilled in this shattered world. Regardless of where you and I stand, I believe we dream of the same thing. Let's go. He crosses his hands before him and red mists emerge from his palms, crissing and crossing into a blood red web. This is... Suddenly, several monsters emerge from the darkness and launch themselves at you. Alright, where are they? Where's Gobbos? Oh god, no kidding. I, I was kind of joking, but also not. <laughs> how, how bad is it? <laughs> Pretty bad. Okay, memo to self. Do not get hit by probably any of these, really. Okay, he's not too bad. Pew. Pew. Boom. Is he just gonna stand there? I mean, I'm okay with it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just confused. Boom. Another pack. Go. I will hold them off. But... Go, the Aussie nerd. Damn it. My name is Aloysius. Tell the Void Master that peace is the one thing that those who stayed behind wish for. You leave the shattered world. Oh god, to enter the Umbra Cliffs? No thank you. Are you okay, Elida? I'm fine. You look around. The gap in the magic barrier is gone. That Aloysius, he feels different from the other Afrit. He seems more like a human. Human. Where do we go next? Find the Afrit Void Master. Something makes me uneasy, but I made a promise, and I intend to fulfill it. Are you going to negotiate? Sure. You will not be so easy to find now. Perhaps the Arcane Communion knows a way. The incantation of obliteration was what caused the negotiations to fail to fall apart. Not suggesting anything, but perhaps we should exercise caution. I understand. Let's do it this way. I'll go to their nearest hideout, at the southeast end of the Umbra Cliffs. I will investigate this. Come find me as soon as you can. He later leaves. Why did you let them go, Alo Aloysius? I didn't want tragedy to repeat itself. Since when did the Efreet become sentimentalists? So much for the great hero revered by the people of this world. Aloysius stares at his hands, his breath quickening. They trusted me, so... Aloysius falls to his knees. His eyes are unfocused and he cannot hold back his trembling. They held the flame of my palm, but I, I... This world is no more. They fed him, as is their due. Do not trouble yourself with the petty matters of the world outside the door. I will not let you leave here. I will not allow you to stop them. You are such a failed emissary, Aloysius. Ah, so that must be the obsidian flame. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, have we got a point? In something? No. I do have talent, though. I have two talents, even. Okay, Surgeon Specialist and, I guess, Rehabilitation. That's where we're going. Rumor say... Oh. Say it. Wait, where am I going? Quests. The Truth. You and a lady need to track down the Arcanus. What happened to them while you were gone? Head to the easternmost area of the Umber Cliffs to investigate. Ah, over there. We can do that. We can definitely do that. <laughs> A beastie. Help the farmer. Like how I can help the unknown. I can help the monster. Feels bad. Oh my god, there are a lot of them, isn't there? Oh my god, I'm getting absolutely massacred. Ugh.
Wow, these scorpions are not very chill, are they? Pretty scorpion-y, to be honest. I feel that we've taken a lot of casualties, but maybe it was just the farmers. It was just the farmers. Wow, they, like, all died. <laughs> oh my god. They got absolutely annihilated. Uh, around here somewhere? Is a lady going to be here? Yep, there she is. They are not here. The incantation of obliteration. Someone has unleashed the incantation of obliteration again, at the cost of their own life. I can feel the residual magical energy reverberating. Who was it? It's not important. Are there survivors? I don't know. No one is answering my magical call. Ring ring! Ring ring! Just leave a magical voicemail. Let's look around. Maybe they'll have some indications. Sure. There's a lot of fire. Does that count? Nothing out of the ordinary with this one. Uh, what about that? There are blood marks on this stone. Let me see. Here. Sakunya Traxon. I won't be able to identify the owner of this stain with just this. Look for more. Sure. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary. <clears throat> there are blood marks on the stone. Oh, I need three clues, that's right. Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, oh, there it is. Ah, there we go. We found three bloodstained stones. Bring them to a later. That should be enough. Let me try again. Sekunia Traiksun. Swirling clouds block the sun and cold winds blow across the land. The bloodied stones rise up into the air and circle above Elayda's head. The blood marks are lifted off the stones like a piece of paper floating in the air. Slowly they liquefy and converge into symbols that you do not recognize. No. Elayda stops and the blob of blood falls from the sky, almost hitting you. Sorry, I hope that didn't hit you. It almost did. They're all dead. No survivors. Brutal. <laughs> Looks like this is a dead end. I could do this the direct way. Round up a few of free ghoul and interrogate them. Are you angry? I... No, I'm not. I should have realized. I was too naive. If free ghouls have been marauding across the land, it should not be hard to find a few groups. Okay, another talent point. Always good. Can we get... Maybe not that, actually. Go through managed grain and stuff. Wildfire click. Cleek. More beasts. Uh, we're going to head up to... To the Darken, I think. I think that's the uh, the answer here. Because we need, some, we need an, at least one more companion. Oh, we can only take one more companion anyway, so... I guess we'll take what we damn well get. Shadow Dart? Meh. Nah. Evade Mastery seems pretty good. Just be able to take less damage. Always a good... Always a good gamble. Always a good investment. <clears throat> Is this some Ifrit? Nope, it's just a monster. Just a monster. Tons of dead residents. Uh, where am I going here to get out? That way. Zoom away. They say a freed have been marauding across the land, but I haven't seen a single one. I see wildfire clique, like everywhere, but no ifrit. Maybe in Redstone Valley around the the bit where they were coming in. Desert Brotherhood, Desert Brotherhood. Oh, was there another one there? Monsters. I'll fight the Dryads. Why not? Why not? It's a big lightning strike. Wow, took those ones apart. Barely bothered us at all. Do you have any upgrades to the lightning strike? 
Not really. Oh, because it's a legacy ability. Oh, we should try and level it up. If we can. I don't think we can. Never know. Uh, anyone in the tavern? Just a wrestler. Just a couple of wrestlers. Okay, we don't want to fuck with them. We know how that story ends. Uh, a ballista. I don't think we need it. Take the wood. Cost us 255. I think we'll be okay. Let's just sort it and see what happens. <clears throat> Desert Brotherhood. What about all these, uh. What about all these, uh, Ifrit that are quote unquote marauding around? Ooh, Farty is friendly. Uh, I've got a little gift for you. You can have a Gala Scroll. Nice. Uh, increased by one. Ugh. Uh, something I want to know about you. Oh, half a month. Must I? Okay, who's... Who's in the hall? Sultan of the Nazir. Uh, sure. Zero rule sells our own or another. Give a gift. Don't need anything. Fair enough. Need me to run an errand for you. It's not going to help with. Rude. Need me to run an errand? Latif. Sagros Mountains. Ugh, God. No. Umara. Need me to run an errand? <clears throat> uh. Sure. Southcliff Village. That's not too far away, right? I'm thinking somewhere else. Oh, no, they're only over there. That's fine. Let's go. Zoom. Actually, that's a point. Do we have anything that can level up? Anything good that can level up? We can upgrade Nazir Riders into Nazir Assault Cavalry, or we upgrade our Ember Infantry into an Ember Infantry Squad, which I think is what we do. Uh, the Arctic Wolf, he's capped out. Can we upgrade to Nazir Archers again? We can! Nice! Wow, we have a lot of Nazir Archers now. Amazing. Uh, wow, that's a lot of iron, stone, and wood. Ouch. Uh, still, like, so many Desert Brotherhood. None of these marauding Ifrit. They're having a very quiet marauding session. A uh, very, it's a bit of light marauding. No, we'll we'll help these guys. Uh, Mount Vuk. Oh wait, I can't. Oh, is it because they're right? I think they're Akal. Uh, herbalist, are they over here? Traveling merchant. Magic scrolls? You don't have any magic scrolls. You have magic orbs, which are, I mean, also good. Don't get me wrong. Is that the one near Southcliff Village? They don't really appear to be. Find an entire squad of deserters. The only thing I can think of is that these guys are, like, fighting. Ah, oh, desert leader, there we go. You all desert the army without discharge. I've been sent by Umara to take you back. We're free fighters. We're not going anywhere. You're not taking us without a fight. Well... There are 11 of you, so... That was over quickly. Please! We don't want to go back to the army. If you take us back, Amara will never let us go. Um, take you back to Amara. I promised Amara I'd capture you and bring you back. You shouldn't have deserted if you're afraid of being punished. Nice. Okay, now I can kill the Alpine Gorillas. How many have we got? 40? I got 49. That's not alpine gorillas, that's alpine bears, to be fair. 
Uh, but nevertheless, they got real beaten. Really beaten. Uh, okay, can I somehow track this? Um, defeat three squads of a free. Yeah, like, there just aren't any. I, I guess we're just going to go to Crying Rock and go talk to the Darken. We'll go to Paparigio Village. Maybe we'll find some Ifrit along the way. Well, they am up in the mountains. I don't imagine the Ifrit would be up here. Oops, rebels. Nasty, nasty rebels. Not very good rebels. Uh, once again, kind of die super quick. Getting some good loot out of it, though, considering. Can we just run straight up here to the exit? Perhaps? Ooh, what do we got? Uh, ah, seventh level. Can take a whole army with us. Boom! God, also just saw whoever that was. I think it was just like an, a deep great swordsman, like take out the entire, entire team. Ooh, and a free skirmisher. Uh, help the deeps to our. Think of your selfless sacrifice. Well, there are 52 of them. A uh, giant explosion will kill you all. Hopefully. Eh, ish. Man, there's a few of them. Ooh, a fire elemental. Well, all I do is shoot fire, so I don't imagine it's that useful. <laughs> okay, how do we go? Oh, we don't lose anybody. Perfect. Uh, yeah, we're going back to Crying Rock. Away we go. Onwards! So is that one of three? Does that count? No. Ugh! doesn't count because we helped to our we we assisted them we didn't uh, we didn't beat them on our own that's annoying uh, Alpine gorilla yeah they seem to be worth loot doesn't seem to be any reason not to we're not really taking any casualties in fact we're Kind of mopping them up in record time. Oh, Lone Eagle's spear's gonna break. Uh, that one. Nice. Onwards to Crying Rock. Maybe there's some Ifrit over here. Ifrit, Des Brotherhood. What about up here? Uh, rebels. Okay. Rebel, rebel, rebel. Otherwise, oh, no, rabble. My bad. Ouch. My oh, I was poisoned, I think. Oh yeah, there's some poisoners here. There's, there's literally some poisoners here. Shockingly, I got poisoned. Alright, let's go in here. We're gonna attack the camp. Two desert marauders, two desert trackers, two desert bandits. Feel like we're gonna crush this. Uh, I think they're just going to vanish under the weight of all of our weapons. Alright, nice, that one's handled. I really want to get a bit of a head start so I can do that. Yeah, you can have that. You can die. Or at least get super electrocuted. Ah, nice, we've got this! Everybody dies! God, that is a strong combo. Just the the spirit bolt and then the upgraded psychic bullet. 
just really does not mess around. Is it this way? Yes, it is. Boom. I mean, he's pretty tanky, but... When he can just get juggled by Saki... <laughs> feels pretty good. He just gets knocked in the air and then knocked back and then knocked in the air again. Yeah, no, it's game over. Damn it! I don't think that's the last of us. We won't let you get away with this. He got away with this. Ooh, two talent shards. Neat. Plus a whole buttload of ironstone. Wow, like an actual buttload of ironstone. I might be able to upgrade the deep great swordsman. Oh, some more jade. Uh, I'll hold on to it. I, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna... Just gonna roll over this real quick. Uh, done. Pretty much. There we go. Right, thank you. Alrighty, guys, but I think we're gonna leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine who enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.